Welcome to the Short Circuit Unsigned Senior Edition. I'm Kate Constable, joined today by Coben Porter. Coben, how's it going? How are you doing? Good, doing, thank doing you well. for joining you? us. Yes, ma'am. Um, so I know you're a senior this year, and we're going to get to how your season ended and your plans for next year. But first, I want to know, what have you been doing to stay busy during quarantine? Yeah, so, um, well, first of all, I've got a big family. I have seven siblings, um, and everybody's home right now except for Jonte, one of my older brothers. So we've all been hanging out. Um, I'm injured right now, so I've been doing a lot of rehab for my knee. Um, but, yeah, just that in school, I've been staying pretty busy. Are you taking online classes? What's it like to finish your senior year? I mean, is there no prom, nothing? Yeah, they, so they said there's no graduation and no prom schedule for right now. So everything is just going to be online, I guess, like as far as graduation goes. Mm -hmm. And then classes, most of my teachers will hand out like weekly schedules and we have to finish whatever by the end of the week. Oh, geez. That's okay. such a bummer, especially for seniors when it's your guys' last go around. I feel right, for you. Right, right. Um, so are you enjoying all this extra family time? I am for sure, yeah. Everybody's kind of just, like I said, hanging out. Um, it's never really a dull moment right now. I'm sure. So you're a member, you mentioned you have seven siblings, you're one of eight. Um, you're what some call the first family of basketball in Missouri. Um, <laughs> your brother, Michael Porter Jr. and John Tay Porter, they both play in the NBA. Your sisters, older sisters, played at Mizzou. Parents played in college, coach. You have younger siblings that also play. Um, yeah. What's it been like growing up in such a large basketball family? It's been a lot of fun. Um, I mean, just everybody is always like, we're a really competitive family, you can imagine. So we're all like, even if it's not basketball, we're just, we're always playing different games or doing whatever. It's always just, it's a lot of fun though. So you guys, with eight of you, I suppose 10 with your parents, you guys ever get five on five games going? Oh, um, people ask that sometimes. We've only ever done it like one time, I think. It doesn't happen too often. Usually it's like king of the court or one-on-one or 21. Yeah, yeah. yeah. fun. Um, so growing up in such a large family, how do you think that shaped you as a person? Um, so I was homeschooled until high school. And I think if I wasn't in such a big family, I kind of wouldn't have been as outgoing as I am because I was homeschooled. So I think. Um, it's kind of, I don't really know how to put it, but I think it's, it's helped me out for the better, for sure. Why did your parents decide to homeschool you? Um, mostly it was like religious reasons, I guess. They kind of wanted to make sure that, that they were um, like the main influence over our life up until we kind of got to an age where we could make decisions for ourselves. Okay. Um, how do you think that growing up in this family and, and, growing up being homeschooled for those reasons and whatnot. How do you think that shaped you as a basketball player? Yeah, um, I would say it's made me a lot better, number one, because like when you're homeschooled, you have a lot more time on your hands than you do when you're going to school for eight hours a day. So we would um, work out like a couple, a few times a day. Um, so that alone kind of has helped me be able to take my game to a different level, I guess. Yep. Um, and with older siblings that are as successful as they have been, do you ever feel like you're living kind of in your older brother's shadows? Um, not necessarily at this point. I would say when I was younger, I did for sure. I kind of felt like a little bit of pressure to, I don't know, reach their level. But at this point, um, I think I've become kind of my own player, my own young man. So I just feel confident in who I am. How would you describe your style of play? Um, so, like, for my high school, I was the point guard. Mm -hmm. And then for my summer team, Mocan, I was a shooting guard. So those two teams, I had a completely different role. I was mostly, like, a catch and shoot and a 3 and D guy in the summer mm -hmm. on my summer team. And then on my high school team, I was kind of more of a floor general. I kind of was, like, a leader on the floor and did a lot of the distributing. So I would say – Number one, I feel like I'm a leader, a pretty good leader. Um, I think I can shoot the ball really well and then just make plays. So you've been a part of Mokin Elite in the UIBL for the past couple of years. Uh, yeah. When did you start with them? I've actually been playing with them since my 14U summer. So it's been, I played with them for three or I think four years. Wow. 
That's Thank awesome. Um, and last year, you guys had a pretty big accomplishment. You won the Peach Jam title. What was that experience like? It was super fun. I'll never forget it. It was probably the most fun experience I've had playing basketball this far. And you were a big, um, played a big role on that team um, and were a big leader. How would you describe your leadership styles? Um, I kind of just tried to do everything um, to the best of my ability and try to lead by example um, as much as I could on that team. So you tore your meniscus in February. That yeah. ended your senior season at Tolton. Um, what was that surgery and recovery like for you? Um, it's been pretty difficult for me just because I've always been playing basketball and this is the first time I've had to take a big break from it. Mm -hmm. Um, but I've just been attacking rehab and trying to follow the doctor's orders, um, so I can be back better. Yeah. And especially to like not have basketball at a time like this when there really isn't much else to do, that's gotta be awful for you. Yeah, for sure. But I just look at it like, at least I'm not missing much. Like that's true. And then at the end of this, I, I feel like I'll be, I have a good chance to catch back up. Um, where I left off. When can you get back out on the court and start running up and down? So I have a meeting or an appointment with my doctor tomorrow morning. Um, my physical therapist said don't get my hopes up but he thinks I, I might be able to run and jump and do all that starting tomorrow. Oh wow. Yeah. That's, that's coming up. That's something to be yeah. hopeful for a little bit. Sure. A little cautious though. Yeah. Um, did that this injury affect you mentally or emotionally kind of did it discourage you at all um I think initially it did a little bit because it was my senior year it was the end of it we had big um hopes and dreams to win a state championship and that obviously didn't happen but I think as time has gone on um I've just started to trust God with it a lot more and just continue to work and I think it'll all work out now, your older brother, Michael, also had a season-ending injury just a couple days before his first game at Mizzou his freshman year. Did he give you any advice on how to approach this type of adversity? Yeah, he just um, encouraged me to stay patient and continue to work, and that I'd be back in no time. So in terms of your recruitment, have you talked to any schools that have shown interest in you? Yeah, I've talked to a few different men majors um, since Peach Jam. Um, but, like, when I tore my meniscus and then this whole coronavirus thing happened, it kind of slowed everything down. Yeah. So at this point, I plan on going to a prep school called Link Year. It's in Branson, Missouri. And I'm going to play another year of postgraduate school and then just see what happens. Okay. Does that get you excited? Yeah, for sure. Um, I'm, I just want to play again, honestly. So mm -hmm. wherever that is, I'm, I'm cool with it. And you've talked a lot about your faith and that that's very important to your family. Uh, what role has your faith played in just becoming who you are as a person and just dealing with different type of adversity, whether it's um, your injury, not being as highly recruited, things like that as a basketball player? Yeah, so like, um, I think everybody will realize this in life that there's only so much that you can control. And then like the rest of it, you just have to for me, I leave it up to God to control. Um, for other people, I don't really know how they get through things, um, but I just find a lot of comfort in that, knowing that I have have a a God that's that's protecting me, watching over me, and has my best interests in mind. That's awesome. All right, Coven, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much once again for joining us, and good luck next season. Thank you. Thank you for having me.